We are not professionals out here. Remember, we are just valet attendants that are currently unemployed because of the virus going around. So literally we're just, uh, <coughs> that should be good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog during the quarantine, man. Most of you guys are probably seeing this when we're all locked indoors, but it's one of the last few days in our counties you're allowed to get out for non-essential travel. So what we're doing, packing up the yaks, grabbing a couple new SD cards from Walmart because we've been running low, man. All our cards are full. We're about to take a trip out to uh, a little rock quarry John B and myself had hit in the past, and we're gonna show Devin this place. It is a really sweet location. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and we'll catch you guys there, get on some fish today. Let's go. Guys, been about an hour drive and Devin and I are closing in on the location. Just a quick little update. We have got quite a few setups here. We're probably gonna have three or four combos a piece on the yak just for hot swaps. Always gotta be prepared because you don't wanna be messing around when you're on the kayak, retying this, that, and the other. Catch you guys there in just a second. So this next part we're not too sure about, um, check us out. This is what you call luxury riding around, right? <laughs> oh God. Nope. All right, break time. Fourth the mission. Let's take, let's take another look at this. All right, y'all. Trailers detached. We kind of had to pull a uh, funky fresh maneuver. <laughs> the path that we've taken in here in the past is not going to fly. So we are going to uh, turn this trailer around, turn the truck around, and there's one more potential way in here. We're gonna try and figure this thing out, y'all. Stick around. That's good. Boom. Interesting. Okay, let's try and get out of here. Ooh, four wheel drive. Ah! <laughs> get away from me. Yeah. Oh, I made it down real easy. <laughs> well, let's get on. Well, that was a no go. We are going to probably try and hit another spot. We're going to look around on maps, maybe use the Fish Brain app, and see if we can't find another body of water around here. And we'll keep you updated on where we decide to go now that we've made a long drive. See ya. A quick pit stop after about an hour and a half of uh, completely nothingness. <laughs> Gas is 149 right now. Would you believe it? So we are going to uh, load up the old Tundra, fill her up because I think we're out of fuel after getting like eight MPGs going off road and on the way here with this trailer behind us. <laughs> Roadblock, wouldn't you know? Nothing has happened, man. Uh, stay with us, y'all. Stay with us. All right, guys, half the day is gone. Not much has happened, but here's what's coming up. We are remaining highly optimistic. I am pretty dang excited. Time check, 3.30 in the afternoon. It's getting warm and toasty out here, you guys. We are gonna drive an hour and 20 minutes away to hopefully drop in at five o'clock. Uh, good thing is sun sets at like 7.30. I think we're gonna have about three hours to fish because it's still been staying bright out past sunset. I don't know what the move is here at this place, but we are gonna find out. We look forward to seeing what kind of big fish are in store, you guys. It's gonna be fun. We'll see y'all in an hour and 20. Before we hit the pond, we're grabbing some Chipotle. At Chipotle, obviously, everything's to go. And they got individually wrapped forks now. You can't just go grab them. They ask you how many you want. Pretty slick. We have finally made it to the spot, guys, and there's actually quite a few fishermen already hitting the bank. This is pretty slick, and there's already been a fish pulled out we saw. So, things are looking good. It is now 5.23 in the afternoon, couple hours till sunset. Let's get these things in the water.
All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on, on. Oh, no. Ah, oh, he was good. Three pounds, probably. Luke isn't gonna work in this clarity like I thought and rigged up before we got out here. Try a chatterbait with some commotion. <sighs> I see why they charge 20 bucks for these chatterbaits, all this extra dang packaging and staples. Nah, but they really do kick butt. Let's get this thing in the water. Let's see if I need to do this whole crawl. Yeah, one, one section actually is pretty good on the crack and crawl with the, uh, with the jackhammer. And I think this one's a little heavier than she's using. I might have to work it faster because of that. This might be like, this might be a, I don't know what weight this is, but anyways, it might be heavier. In case you guys are noticing something different, uh, this scorpion had a bad backlash, so we took it off the rod and we put something else on whichever rod it was on. And now we are just putting this one on the Lose American Hero Speed Stick. This is a 6.6 six medium heavy so like extra short compared to what i'm used to rocking but that'll be okay i'll just have to set that thing i'll just have to rip into them we got this i think for 40 or 50 dollars on sale as a combo at dick sporting goods Got him. Oh, he's swimming with it. Oh. He's pretty good too. Dang, he just darted with it. Oh man, that's a solid one. Sweet. Oh man, he just like took it straight to the right. I didn't think I had a fish on it first hardly. I Oh, ow, sharp teeth. Oh, there goes the reel in the water. Hold on. We are not professionals out here. Remember, we are just valet attendants that are currently unemployed because of the virus going around. So literally we're just, uh, oh wow, that was such a loose, that was like barely locked. Good thing I kept that, well, semi-tight. Anyways guys, first fish of the day. Heck yes, that is a fatty. Look at that thing right there. Bringing him in the boat, heck yes. There we have it guys. First one on the yak after we've been trying to put this oh. yak mission together for the last five, six hours, man. Finally get out here under the water. Devin links up, well, she's got her first bite, comes off the hook of the boat, y'all seen it. And then we just got this fatty, just a couple casts after, man. Super sick. Look at this fish. <laughs> Let's get him back in the water. I'm gonna see if they're like back in there though. He was back there behind the tree. Yeah, you scared the shit out of me. Pulled it a couple of times, that was good. Yeah, look at that, he ate uh, my pinchers. Texas rig crawl. Right behind that tree. It's up to you. I have a, I have a uh, hook and weight right here. Check that line. Feeling okay, got a little something going on right here, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Here you go. Hook, weight, and crawl. Oh my gosh. All right. Heck yes. Right back over there. I had to pull him over that stump. Oh my gosh. That was insane. I set the hook. It felt so, I thought I had like a five because it was coming up over that stump. Dang guys, second one, Texas rig right back there where I missed that fish a second ago. But we got him on round two. He took the pinchers, we swapped the crawl and that's what you got to do. So uh, it seems that it's tough to say. The first couple bit out uh, a little ways, and then this one hit right there in the uh, shallows, probably like just inches of water. There could potentially be a second fish back there. I'm gonna see if that's the case. This is um, a two pounder or, or less. I would, I would say it's closing in on two pounds, to be honest. Good fish, man, super fun. I am glad we are catching a couple out here now. Second one of the night, guys. That was pretty crazy. I didn't even get the cast. Um, because my just switched my GoPro batteries, so literally I casted over the log 
and I was like, oh, please do not get the bite because I was right in the strike zone and where I missed that last hit. And so what I did is I just uh, turned on the GoPro, hit record, popped it twice, and then it hit. And I was like, yes, got very lucky there. Almost missed that catch. Very cool because we just missed it. So I'm glad we got that on film. Let's get him back in the water. Bam, swimming right off. Okay, guys, let's try and hit the uh, shallows for a second with the T-Rig, see if it's not the juice. Fight. Fight. Yeah. Swimming towards me. Nice one. Oh, sweet. First fish for me. That was like third cast. Way back in there or? Pretty. It was a behind a couple logs. <laughs> That's awesome. I think we're figuring them out, guys. Oh, sharp, sharp teeth. Hold on. Please don't. Ah, oh, good deal. That was like third cast with this Texas rig crack and crawl. Black and blue, following Weston's lead. That feels good after what of a start today has been. All right, guys, so I think we've begun to figure out the pattern of these fish. Um, like Weston was saying, this water has is super flooded up into these trees. And so these bass are, I guess, moving really far up into that brush. So we went ahead and tied on two black and blue crack and crawl Texas rigs. And so far we've gotten, you've gotten a bite and a fish and I just got a fish like first cast. So let's go ahead, get him back in the water and get some more. In case you guys are curious of the gear, we are throwing Wu Tungsten. She's got a quarter ounce. I have a three eighths, not making too much of a difference here. Black and blue, crack and crawls. Guggen baits, y'all can save 15% with the link in the description. We also have some Guggen Squad hammer hooks. And uh, boom, that is getting the, uh, the job done at the moment. 17 pound fluorocarbon. We're throwing up into the thick stuff. So I've got a 17 pound leader onto this 30 pound uh, braid main line. Devin is probably going with the 15 to 17 pound as well. That's what we have on a lot of our reels. This is a seven, six, uh, medium heavy fast action rod and so uh, we're able to yank them up out of here man that is what we are rocking and rolling with today i've got slx dc reel love the dc she's throwing a corrado dc on a 7.2 medium heavy so you can see our equipment's varying just slightly still able to rake these things up you guys let's get back in here catch a couple more yeah guys this water is up way high out here so i've heard frequently when the water's on the rise those fish move up shallow and they try and get in there and uh, chow down on all these craws whose holes are now underwater and all these insects that are now underwater and uh, just really go to town and uh, it's kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet you toss a crack and crawl on there you are bound to get bit all right guys we're gonna try a different side of the lake we're gonna paddle our way on over and see you there just made it to the other side guys got a little bit more sun over here looks like Devin's going chatterbait to start I'm just gonna throw the Texas rig around for a second that's a is that a bass or a turtle I think it's a bass pushing up bait fish like Trying to corner them. Got him. What are we working with here? All right. Oh no! At the boat. I pulled a Devon. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Dang it! That's okay, I think there's more over here. We had just heard some commotion over here and it didn't look like a turtle jumping off this thing, but more it looked like a, a bass pushing some bait fish over here. So I rushed to this uh, spot and I probably just missed the bass I was after, but maybe there's more here. Might be a little school. Might be something going on that we're unaware of. So I'm just gonna creep this nice and slow through this same zone for a minute. I think it very well could have been. It was a good cast. I got pretty close to it and brought it out and then he hit a little ways out just working it slow from the bank to me. But tough to say, I mean, they might all be along this stuff's edge and so. Guys, I am taking off the Jekyll Gantrail and I'm gonna try the Whopper Plopper at sunset. Again, I, I tried it recently and I don't think that footage ever made it into a video, but we're gonna give her a good old second try here. Palomar is tied these things nothing better let's get this thing in the water man i am anxious
Yes, yes. Not a bad one either. Going around that log. Fish on. Hee hee hee. Hee hee. In the middle of the lake. Look at that. First one of mine on that chatterbait on the jackhammer. Good deal. Right at sunset. Little chunk. Ah, oh, that was cool. I went right by that log and I was a little worried that it was uh, snagged. And I was like, I couldn't quite tell. And then I was like, no, 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 it's moving. It's a fish. Yes, it's a score. That's the second one for me. We also might want to put the stuff up before it gets too pitch black. If that's the case, we better go right about now. We just got off the water. We're pulling the kayaks up to the truck. Just got to formally meet our buddy Billy on the bank over here. Shout out to him. He was telling us where some good bass are in this place. Just realized we might have bent that earlier. Looks a little, looks a little crooked if you ask me. 